Hey guys, so uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to 3D scan an object, say, like my lizard. Uh, I didn't do this on camera, I'll do another object, but uh, here's a 3D scan of it. And this may be the cheapest possible way to 3D scan an object. So here we go, let's get to that right now. So first, before we go inside the app to show you how it's done, I'm gonna give you another example, aside from the lizard that I did uh, in the intro. Um, my megalodon tooth. Uh, this one wasn't one of the greatest, but with the actual image over top of it, it looks much more impressive than it actually does in person. And my dog chewed the tip of it up, so it messes up a little bit too. So let's get right in to where you need to go to download this amazing software to be able to 3D scan animals and other things. And you have no idea how long it took me to get my gecko to stay still for long enough to record the uh, amount of video needed to produce this scan. So let's get right into that now. So in this portion, you're gonna to wanna to open, open up to the Apple Store and type in, in the search bar, clone, Q-L-O-N-E, not a C. Um, I'm sorry that the second part gets flipped around. Um, you're gonna to wanna to download it, and mine already is downloaded. Uh, it will cost you, it's, it's free, uh, to download it. And then there's an in-app purchase, which I've already gotten $15 to be able to upload to STLs. Uh, and I will get this camera flipped around and show you how to scan. So basically you're gonna click that little red button up in the top. Uh, first of all, place your object in there. I decided to do the scan of the gecko. Um, and then you click that up in the top and you have to th you have to print off on a printer that little platform and then it automatically with your phone will detect where that object is and you just move either that platform or your camera around just like i'm doing right here and it's a pretty quick process um it it's a little bit finicky and glitchy but it works really well uh you can see scanning a scan is not super accurate but it's pretty decent and um, so yeah that's basically it so I'll let the rest of that play and then I'll start a time lapse I'm gonna print it out much smaller uh, so it's fast because everybody in my house is asleep and yep so this is all it takes to, to scan an object it's that simple it only costs $15 to be able to export to STL just like I did and the results are pretty good and so yep so now I'm going to show you how to actually export it. so you click that little arrow in the corner and then you click the arrow again and then you can see the object there that you want to click on and you click that little button and it just flipped I have flipped the camera it, you just click on that thing and it opens up with a bunch of like little things that you can click on and so yep that's basically it and then you can go up to your email and download the model and then open it up and that's it for scan. so it's that easy to take a scan of an object which we scan this one and this came out of it in the end and it only cost fifteen dollars for this app clone and you just take out right when the app opens up this sheet of paper uh, or this this printout pops up and you can print that off for free and everything except for the being able to download the STLs and that sort of thing is free so go out and make your own cool stuff uh, maybe some to some of my e to my email some of the stuff that you've made with this app uh, so I can see they yeah, actually got to see I'm not sponsored by the app I found this on my own and I spent the money and it's awesome because I did not want to spend $400 on a scanning device. So this is worth it for the money. It might not be the absolutely perfect scanner for you, or that it, but it is for me. So it, it works well, and it does what it says it does. And you can also mesh different models to, or different scans together, which is kind of cool. So you could take one from the sides, and then one from the top, the sides, everything and add those multiple scans together 
to create a more complex model, but I didn't do that. So this is just one scan and it actually turns out really well. So I will see you in my next video, guys. Uh, sorry I hadn't posted in a while. I've had a lot going on. As you can tell, a different place. Uh, you can actually see my chameleon cage behind me, which you wouldn't have been able to see in any of my other videos. So just go make some awesome stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.